Praise be to God. I did a tape not too long ago uh, asking the question, did Jesus ever laugh? Well, you know, as I study God's Word, I realize that Jesus must have laughed because according to the Word of God, God laughs and laughs. And what I want to talk about at this moment is the thought of God laughs at man's efforts. God laughs at man's efforts. You know, when we try to please God in our own strength, in our own efforts, God laughs at that because that's a joke to Him because of what He has done in our lives and have done for us. But let us look at Psalms, uh, the second um, chapter of Psalms. It reads, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Now let's look at this for a second, my brothers and sisters. The Word of God asks a question. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Why are they raging? Why are they walking in confusion in this earth when the Lord God has made everything plain and clear to us in His Word? He called us to walk a certain way uh, to acknowledge Him, to praise Him, to glorify Him, and to recognize Him as God the Creator. But the world does not desire to do that. So God has given us the ability to choose Him through the Lord Jesus Christ. But the world rejects that. And look what the Word says. The heathen rage and they imagine a vain thing. That possibly they can break away from God and do it on their own. Even as the word speaks about the Tower of Babel, how men and women had gathered together to try to build a spear all the way to heaven so that they could dwell with God. And the Bible tells us that the Lord uh, came down and he brought confusion to the people. And then from there on, they began to go to separate nations and speak in different languages. I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, we cannot break the band that God has upon this earth. But look what, the, what, it, what David writes. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers, the rulers, take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Who is his anointed one? The Lord Jesus Christ, who's been with him from the beginning of the age. The rulers of the earth wants to break away from God. They want to break away from the things of God. Look at our society today, especially here in America. We want to break away from the things of God. We don't want to have even the mention of God in our schools, in our universities, in our judicial halls, legislative halls. We don't have anything to do with God in general. Now, some will understand the name God and go with that. But that could mean any God. But Jesus Christ? No. They will have nothing to do with that. But look what the word goes on and says. It says, He that sitteth in the heavens, meaning the Father, shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. The Lord, praise be to God. The Lord, my brothers and sisters, care for us to honor Him and to glorify Him. But the world will not do that. We have to do that as born again believers. Because according to the world, word, even the leaders that are in the world will not seek after the things of God or desire the things of the living God. So if they're not going to do it, we are called to do it as born again believers. Amen. Praise be to God. That's why the word tells us to pray for our enemies. So that means that we are constantly praying even for those who are not walking under the will of the Lord God. Because they don't desire to have the Lord control them. They want to break loose. And that's why people supposedly do their own thing. Because they do not desire to have anyone control them and not even God but the Word of God says that God laughs at that that's a joke to him that man imagined vain things and believed that somehow he can separate himself ultimately from God yes he can ultimately sep uh, 
separate himself from God. And I tell you what, my brothers and sisters, they will not be happy about it when they see the end results of separating themselves from the living God. He says, Then shall he speak, or then shall God speak unto them in his wrath. He will speak to them and vex or distress them in his sore displeasure. In his displeasure, he will strike out against them. He will strike against them where stress will fill their life. If you look at today, the number one cause for diseases in people's life today is because of the way that they are handling stress. Stress is the number one uh, indicator. If you're not handling properly, that you will ultimately have a disease overtake your body. It's stress, my brothers and sisters. But we, as born-again believers, have to acknowledge that we are not walking as the ungodly. We are not living as the ungodly. And so we are not prone to the same things that the ungodly will go through if we make up our mind that I'm not going to be anxious about nothing. I'm not going to be stressful about anything because the Lord promised me according to his word that he will provide everything for me. So my brothers and sisters, have not the Lord laugh at you. Let him not laugh at you in derision because the fact is that you are trying to do it on your own. He don't desire that. He wants to laugh at those who are ungodly, who stand in their own ungodliness believing that they can make their own way. But we as born again believers are called to come before the Lord in honor and in truth and to praise and to glorify Him. But the God of heaven laughs at those who walk through this life in a very stressful, uncommitted, no direction, unstable life because they choose not to follow Him. Today, choose Him and walk in Him and be part of His work in the earth. In Jesus' name.